50 Cent, the troll master, recently gave his two cents and posted, damn, so the pot got lined by Brother Love. Well, time to lawyer up. Bleep, Mike gets sticky. If these comments come following the arrest of KPD. So, apparently, after the arrest of Keefe D, you know, a lot of people have been speculating that maybe Diddy knows a little more than, you know, what he's saying. And after um, Suge Knight had made, you know, that interview, I want to say, was it last week? I call it an interview, but whatever. Where he was saying, you know, in so many words, he ain't snitching, right? Um, You know, and when 50 Cent made that remark, you know, was Pac lined up by brotherly love? Look, let me tell y'all something. I know a lot of people were saying 50 stirring the pot. To be honest, I'm going to just keep it a stat. I think he was. Um, in my opinion, you know, you know, it just goes to show like the old saying goes, you know, you have to be careful who you have around you, right? If Pop was still living to this very day, I do believe he would have been even bigger than what he was i believe pop had a lot of snakes around him bottom line i believe you know like they said something could have happened they said something about a robbery and somebody got a beat down somewhere and you know i'm not really into the uh the hood boy thug boy culture because at the end of the day i i like pop more than i like biggie you know and i'm not really into rap but um, you know, it's just, won't really my thing for real, for real, but, um, I, when I say I like him more, like a couple of his songs, um, I believe when he's told, when he said in that song, when he was like, um, this why F yo, you fat, mother, you know. I believe that's true because, I mean, to be honest, y'all, I just believe Faith Evans, I believe she's an undercover whore. I do because, you know, let's just think about it. I mean, she was loving the crew. Let's say if he was telling the truth. You know, you, you know how people get in arguments and they just say stuff. I don't believe he was just pulling it out of the sky. I really do believe he had Faith Evans. You know, think about it. She was, um, how you gonna mess with that man enemy? Like, think about that is so scandalous. Like, how you gonna mess with this man enemy? You know what I'm saying? So you, if I'm not mistaken, you got a baby by Biggie. If I'm not mistaken, then let's say it's true. You the F on Tupac. Then the, the man dead. Now you with Stevie J. Regardless if y'all got a divorce or not. It don't matter. Oh, well, you just can't help what love is. Man, it must be with the bullshit. Y'all probably been effing around. Stop it. Stop it. You know, well, you know when feelings get involved and this, that, and the third. Like, that shit is so scandalous. It's so scandalous for you to be messing with his homeboy. Like, it's trifling. It's trifling. It's trifling. It's trifling. It's trifling. You lost all cool points. That's why I did not give one fuck whatever he did to that girl. I didn't care. I didn't care. You know, because it's like, that's, I don't care. Even in death, you still supposed to be loyal. You still supposed to be loyal. Out of all the men you could have grabbed, why him? Why the homeboy? That's why I believe Tupac. I believe him. I believe him. Now, Here's the thing. I just believe he was surrounded by snakes. I believe he was surrounded by snakes. And they got jealous. You know, they say um, guys can't take an ass whooping like talking about it. 
They say a lot of men don't know how to take a ass whooping. They don't, they pride hurt. They can't take it. They can't take it. You know, and I heard it's something that it runs a lot in black men. It runs through their veins a lot. That's why it's a whole bunch of unsolved M words. Uh, I know you too funny about that word, you know. A lot of people get away with murking people. But I'm going to tell you like this. Me personally, I couldn't be with a thug. That's just me. But here's my thing. I could not be with somebody that I even thought did something like that and got away with it. And, you know, just think about it. It take a real gorilla to be able to get away with something like that and live with themselves. Tupac been gone. Let's see. Tupac been, was gone before I was even born. That's over 20-something years. So, it take a real special cold heart to really not give one fuck. You I don't care what y'all say. Diddy knew something. First of all, we not going to sit here and act like Diddy isn't a thief. Let's just be honest. Allegedly... He been taken from his artist for years. And he, he walks around like, you know what I'm saying? Then remember not too long ago, he said he was going to give something back. I can't remember what they was talking about. You know, I don't really, I mean, it was something. But then I think, was it the, the right sort of, it was something to the artist. But look how long ago that was. Look how long ago that was. Like, He's a thief. Like, come on now. We not going to sit here and act like the man not a crook. Diddy is the type of guy that you would, you don't, you don't marry him. You don't, um, you don't be the home girl. I couldn't be the home girl because he not right. I don't care what y'all say. The dude is not right. It's something off about him. I've always thought that. It's something off about him. Never trust the guy that they already say connected to a homicide. That ain't been solved, right? I wouldn't trust you off the rip. No way. Okay? Never trust the guy. Two guys you never trust. Never trust a guy that's connected to a homicide and ain't been solved. That they already been saying he knows something. That's number one. And never trust a guy that they already say is kind of fruity. Okay? But he ain't owned it. Because I feel like this. If you are a little fruity on the low, say what it is. Say what it is. Now, I okay, it's a flip side of that. Now, I always feel like this. I'm not saying... You got to tell the public because it really ain't none of our business, quiet as it's kept, right? But I would hope that you telling a woman or men that you involved with, they have a right to know. Because, for example, I'm the type, I don't want to be with somebody that can lay with both sexes. I want a heterosexual man. I don't want a man that's the top or the bottom. Because I think both of them are just as fruity, in my opinion, right? But nonetheless... You never trust the guy that they, they still ain't solved that man who did that to that man. Come on now. I'm not laying with you. Why? So you could do the same thing to me? Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Forget that mess. And you got to think about it. Pop had a lot of status. And they still can't figure that shit out. So what you think to a regular, to a regular person like me? You know what I'm saying? Man, shit. You know, uh-uh. Forget that mess. No. He don't he didn't do right by his artist. They say he didn't do right by Cassie, which I'm pretty sure she done stashed away some money throughout the years. You know, hell, I always say pay me for my pain. But still, that's years she can't get back. But quiet as it's kept, nobody made her stay. 
it ain't like he had a pow pow to her head saying, um, hold my hand on the red carpets. Be with me for over, uh, how long was they together? I think they said a decade or whatever, however long. It ain't like he made her stay. So we can kind of put Cassie off to the side. That's a little different. You ain't, you know, they say he's trying to write off his wrongs throughout the year. So I tell you what, write off this one and tell us who did at the park. That's a big one. But stuff like that, a lot of people usually take to the grave. Okay. Um, never trust the Paul Bearers. I don't try. If I was Paul. First of all, if I was Paul, I wouldn't have let all y'all be around him like that. No way. That's number one. If I was Paul, I would have been all in. If I was Paul, old lady, I would have been all in his ear. Babe, don't trust these motherfuckers. Babe, I need you to, you know, drop some of these, these, these Negroes. Okay, babe, look, I don't, you know, because I don't, I, mm -mm. No, no, I wouldn't trust. I believe he was surrounded by snakes. They say you got to be careful who you have around you on the come up anyway. You got to be careful. I believe he got too big. They keep talking about, oh, well, he got, it was a beat down. He, he delivered a beat down to somebody. And they, I believe that's part of it because, because they say a man's pride is, is real heavy, especially in the black community. A man don't like, you know, being bitch, like talking about it now. But I believe that's a good piece of it. But I believe the other piece was jealousy. If that man was still living, he'd probably be big as Jay-Z by now. He probably had just as much, if not more, than Diddy. Because they said back in the day he was bigger than Diddy anyway. Imagine if he was still living. I believe somebody knows something. I believe Diddy knows something. I believe Suge knows something. I believe Keefe knew something. I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't have trusted none of their asses with him. None of them. And see, that's why I said I couldn't do be the thug girlfriend because it would be, it would be a headache. Oh my goodness! I hope everything all right. Oh my goodness! I hope they don't try my man tonight. He ain't going out like no sucker. You know, I hope this, I hope that. Imagine being the old lady watching all this going on and then, you know, having to look at these people live their best life and the whole time you thinking to yourself, they know something. And you you scared to say something because you don't want nobody to come for you thinking that you talk too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't imagine dealing with that. You don't heard, I heard T Tupac had a sister. I don't know for sure. You ain't, you don't hear her do a lot of, if she, if she, if he did, you don't hear her doing a lot of talking. Because she probably scared, low key. She ain't going to tell us she's scared, but low key, she probably like, I want to say so much, but you know what I'm saying? She don't, she don't really know how to go about it. I don't want them to do me like they did my brother. You know what I'm saying? The mama, you saw her on a couple of interviews. I think her, I think his mama passed away, if I'm not mistaken. You saw her on a couple of interviews, but you ain't see that lady do a lot of talking for real. They probably know something. If, if they didn't give a damn about the son, you know they don't give a damn about the mama. Let's just be honest. Like, it's too much tied to them people. Like, it's too much. What's that girl name, uh, Matt Young Miami? For real, I don't think she really into that boy like that. I really don't. Ain't on uh, one of them city girls. I don't listen to their music too much. The only song I heard from them is um, uh, the one with Cardi B. Ain't that the one with the Cardi B? Uh, yeah. I'm. I told y'all I'm more Anita Baker, Keith Sweat. You know that's more my lane. But, I mean, I, I listened to a couple of rap songs. I told you I listened to Sukiana, you know, and Trina and them. But other than that, I ain't really, you know, too tough on them. Look, she don't really want that boy like that. She just want what she can get out of him, and I don't blame her. I told y'all, he the type you, you get what you're going to get, and then you throw him in the trash can. 
and go get you a uh a Russell Wilson, whatever you call that guy name. That's that's who you go. That's <laughs> you you or you know you know you go get you somebody like that. You get what you gonna get out of him, and then you mm, haul ass. You see how Cassie did? That's yeah. That's what you do. You you get what you gonna get out of him, and go get you somebody like uh what's his name uh the white boy. We're just gonna say the oh let me not say that. Uh, well, yeah, the white boy, he's a white guy, you know, you go get you somebody like that, you get what you get out of him and go get you somebody like that, but yeah, I don't blame him, it is what it is, I don't blame him, I don't blame him, don't, I mean, come on now, don't, who wants that, who, I'm not, I'll tell you, I'm not down for the ride, I'm not down for the ride, no, 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 I, no, mm -mm, I can't do it, um, other than that, hell yeah. They know. They know what's up. They know what time it is. And if you ask me, when Suj was in that interview, the, uh, what was it, last week, when he was saying, man, if you ask me, he's starting to panic. And so it, the words were calm, but it's so, like I told y'all, my, my, um, my undergrad is in pre-law, but I'm going back from, I'm like in my second semester, uh, grad school and my concentration is psychology i saw through all that bullshit okay in so many words he was saying yeah i know but i ain't telling you mfs he ain't gonna say shit they know what time it is i like i said all of them know something in my opinion do i have proof no i believe a lot of people do but it's kind of like the old saying goes, that snitches get stitches. But nonetheless, as I said once before, I pray that, you know, okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think Tupac is Tupac Mama is not here no more. So I, believe, I think Tupac has a sister. I don't know for sure. But I pray before she closes her eyes, I pray they get to the bottom of who did that to her brother. So she can go out there and kiss her mama grave. Mama, they got him. You know, so I pray that, you know, they find out. They, I pray that they find out because I don't like to see stuff like that. The fact that they went on about their life like that and that man was just snuffed up out of here like that. You know, I think that was real effed up. And as much as I don't care, I mean, I don't care for Biggie, but, you know, I think, not to say it's worse, but kind of just a little bit because he had kids. And if I'm not mistaken, his kids were around my age. You know, so I think his kids were around my age. I don't know for sure. Both of them passed away before I was even born. So, if I'm not mistaken, his kids were probably little. So, it was it, that's kind of even worse because I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think Tupac has any children. You know, so, you know, it's that's even worse. I mean, both of them are bad, but y'all get what I mean. Like, you know, it's lock their asses up. And then I hope when they get caught, they, but I was reading in the comments, people were saying um, that some of the people tied to Tupac stuff have already inspired themselves. Now, in my opinion, I feel like and I hope that if somebody does come forward, I hope they tell it all. Even if it's like in their last days, I hope they tell it all. And I hope that they don't hold back. Even tell on, you know, I feel like it's kind of pointless to tell on somebody that's not here no more because they can't, you know, take up for themselves. But I hope that um they tell it all. I mean, but it's still kind of effed up if they do because, like, damn, look at all the years that in the past by. But better late than never, you know. Um, other than that, like I said, somebody knows something. I said what I said. Now, do I have proof? 
No, but I always felt that he was surrounded by snakes. And like I said, if I was his old lady, won't wouldn't none of y'all would have been around him. None of y'all. I would have peeped the room and I would have exercised some discernment. They say they say men know when bitches ain't they they girlfriend or they wife or whoever. They know you not for they they shawty. Men can spot it. If your man tell you that they not your friends, they not your friends. This is vice versa for the lady. If your lady tell you, babe, these these Negroes ain't no good. Believe her. I would have been all in his ear. Y'all wouldn't have been able to be around him once I stepped in the picture. No, because I would have been all in his ear. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Absolutely. Yo, I'm so pissed right now. Like, I'm so pissed right now. So, y'all have to go all the way back in my story times where I was giving y'all workplace story times. The um, mean girl energy. Supervisor showing favoritism. That was... that. If you kind of unfamiliar with that, go back and look at that so that can bring you up to speed on... What I'm about to, you know, speak on right now. Um, that was at my old night job. So, I'm not with that night job anymore. Um, I actually got transferred out. So, me and that particular supervisor got into it real bad. I ended up telling her that I was, um, she better be lucky that I wasn't there. I was going to slap the shit out of her if I, no, she better be glad I did not slap the shit out of her. Those were my exact words to her, right? So, and I told her, I said, you know what, I'd rather quit before I have to get taken out of here in handcuffs. So she said that was a threat, right? Okay, blah, 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 whatever, right? Take it how you want to take it. But like I said, be glad because I say what I mean and I mean what I say. If I, Like I told her, if I was going to slap the shit out of you, I would have slapped the shit out of you. But I did not slap the shit out of you. So that's never been the type of bitch to sell wolf tickets. I walked right past you. Clearly, if I was going to slap you, I would have slapped you right then and there. You know, but nonetheless, so, um, ended up getting transferred to another site, right? Boom. So the man told her, she's one of them people that when she don't want, when she don't like you, she don't want nobody else to like you. She wanted them kind of people, right? So the man ended up telling her that he'll take me, you know, he'll take me at his site, right? So boom, um, ended up going to that site or whatever, right? So, um, once I got there, um, I noticed that my employee ID number, it wasn't, it wouldn't let me clock in. It wouldn't let me clock in. Right. So long story short, um, he just kept telling me, well, just, um, just, you know, do your in reports and stuff like that. Take a picture of the phone when you get there, take a picture when you leave, you know, Blah, blah, blah. You know, do it that way. That way he had proof that I was actually there. Okay. When the first came time for me to get the first chat, I didn't get it. I said, okay, boom. You know, maybe he's still, he's still getting stuff together. Mind you, I've been with this company since I was... How old was I? I was, like, in my early 20s. So, uh, I've been with this company for a while. Off and on. Off and on. I've been... And I'm in my mid-20s now, so that kind of give you an idea. You know, I, I kind of put my faith in this company, you know, through the hell and the high water. No matter what, I've always received a check. No matter what, no matter how many sites you've been to, you know, this was the first time that I had experienced something like this with this company. And it's never been a time where I've been looking for my check and I did not get it, right? Mind you, this is my night job, right? So, long story short, um... You know, a couple of weeks passed by, so I couldn't reach the man that put me on the site because he's over, like, 50-something sites. So he can't always be right beside his phone. Understandable. So I had to reach out to the guy under him. So I asked um, my stick man, could he give me the other man's phone number? Because I, I didn't have it. I was new to that particular site, so I didn't have it. But he told me I could reach out to the other man. So blah, 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 right? Reach out to him. He told me that... He found out that the bitch had put me out the system after the man told her that he would take me over there. The bitch had put me out the system, 
So it's going to be very hard for them to get me paid for the hours that I work. Yo, when I tell you I want to kick this bitch ass up and down a motherfucking street, you feel me? Like, I want to punch this bitch in her fucking face, bro. Like, I want to beat that bitch face in. Don't you ever, ever in your motherfucking life play with my motherfucking money, bitch. I want to fuck this bitch up slam up bro like so so it's not it's not even a point about the money it's the motherfucking principle because the man told you that he would take me over there it's fine why would you fucking do that bitch like bro i hate the whole time yo go back and listen to my story times the whole time i was there this bitch was so shady bro she was she was one of them people that's real nice nasty like, y'all, I think we all have met people like that. Like, they not going to come right out and talk to you nasty, but they so nice, nasty. Like, she one of the ones that act like she don't mean no harm. But the whole time she being mad, shady, that's her all day, every day. Bro, I want to fuck this bitch up, bro. I started to send her a text message saying, bitch, you better not ever let me catch you in the streets because I'm going to do your ass dirty. I'm going to do your ass dirty. I ain't want to kick a bitch ass like that in a long time. I want to fuck this bitch up because she's so fucking passive aggressive. Every five seconds, she reminded you that she from Jersey. What the fuck that's supposed to mean to me, bitch? The fuck? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I want to fuck this bitch up. She better not ever catch me. She better not ever catch me see her lacking because I don't give a fuck. That was so fucking unnecessary. See, that's the shit I be talking about with you bitches. Y'all always try to act like y'all don't mean no harm, but be shady as fuck. The whole time I was there, she was shady as fuck. If I ever see this bitch, I'm going to punch her in her shit. I don't give a fuck about you running to the white folks. You can get all the protection orders that you want to. That ain't going to be the first time a bitch that took out a protection order against me, and it ain't going to be the last. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about violating that shit. Don't you ever in your motherfucking natural born life, long as you live and stay black, don't you ever motherfucking play with my money, bitch. The fuck wrong with you bitches?